Hello, DJ Briggs here, back again for another review, and today I have my uh, my review of my first uh, 2021 set of the new year, and it is a Lego Spider-Man set. It is the Miles Morales mech armor. It is set number 76171. Recommended building ages is 7 and up, and it comes with... 100, 125 pieces and it retails for $10 in the United States and um, let's not waste any time let's get into the set um, and see how it stacks up starting with the minifigures right, so looking at the Miles Morales figure uh, it is exclusive to the set and I like to call it the what's up danger suit because it is very reminiscent of what Miles had in the Into the Spider-Verse movie. Uh, his accessory there is a little thing that you can attach the webs to. And you have this giant web contraption from all the web blast pieces that you can attach to Miles here. Or you can attach to a larger mech, which we'll see in a second. But... Uh, Putting that aside, we can take a look at the torso, and it is a very nice torso. Uh, it's got a little hoodie printed over his normal suit. You can see it there. And then back of the suit has something, has uh, the back of the jacket, but uh, it has this Miles Spider logo, which I'm not a huge fan of, just because uh, superheroes don't usually wear their own merch. And then another cool thing is he has dual molded legs to represent the shorts and the bottom half of his suit. And that's done in the dark gray and black. It's typically not shown in any sets really and not any cheap ones. So it's a cheap way to get that. And then the coup de gras of this figure is the new hood piece it's pretty much the Lloyd one from the Ninjago movie except for they got rid of where the hair is and it just fits over the minifigure head like that and it's way more better than the basic hood piece and then taking that off you get a closer look at his head printing and there's the back and that is also a new head print for 2021 but uh, that does it for the Miles feet. So taking a look at the actual mech itself, uh, build-wise, it's very similar to uh, last year's mechs. If you've built any of those, you should be familiar. And um, it's got several of the same techniques, uh, so several of the same posability. Uh, the build, I will comment on, is uh, very... Uh, very uh, tedious because you, you do it effectively have to build multiple sections of this build twice and they do let you build it exactly as the same but um, as it goes um, pretty straightforward but um, going into this set a little further uh, you do have the minifigure cockpit here which does have this uh, pentagon piece, and this is printed. And it's pretty much uh, Miles' front of his spider suit, just uh, mechanized. Um, he's got these adjustable shoulder pads up here, which pretty much can go up and down, and that, and... Miles just fits into the cockpit here very nicely. You don't even have to take anything off. And he fits in there nicely and snugly. Uh, not really protected on the sides there, but that is par for the course with these. Uh, the hands are very... Uh, before I get into the hands, uh, these... You do get all the web pieces here incorporated into this mic build. And they are in this like frosty trans blue. I assume to represent uh, Miles' uh, Venom Shock uh, webbing. But uh, that's 
here I'm here is what I was talking about when talking about the Miles figure. Um, he does use it here in the bigger point, and this is to make it look like he's shooting on a web. And different from other mics here down at the shoes, there are like small little slivers, and that does correspond with uh, Miles's body structure. He's a very lanky character in the comics. Um, nice spot for this here. Um, the the uh, web handcuffs, I love that they actually found a place for those instead of just having them strung about. But um, enough talking about the design here. Uh, let's go over the articulation, which I already went over the shoulder pads here. Uh, they can, the arms at the shoulder can go up that far. And if you move up the shoulder pads, they can go even farther. Uh, you got a ball joint at the shoulder area, and it can move all around. You got a wrist articulation here, and you got posable figures, uh, fingers on both sides. Uh, this side is rather limited if you have the web piece attached, but you can get the middle finger in and the thumb like that to make it look like he's actually thwipping out which is nice. Uh, these web pieces are very posable here for like jets or whatever you want to pretend them to be. Um, it's got a waist articulation like uh, the previous year sets. Uh, they do have this notch here which prevents it from going a full 360 but Unlike last year, they hide it a lot better with this piece here. Uh, legs can f fully sway out that way. You get a little um, bend at the knee there, which is very nice. And you get back and forth on the ankle along with a um, slight rocker. So um, you can get, and uh, despite those small little feet, as you can see, he can uh, balance on one foot, no problem. But uh, that does it for my look at this set. Um, let's move on to the box and the extra pieces I want. It's uh, extra pieces for the Miles Mac are few, but we do get an extra one of the holder pieces in trans, a uh, couple of the one by one studs with a hole in it in two different colors, the extra technic pin and a couple of cheese slopes and tiles, but fairly basic for a small set. Alright, so taking a look at the instructions for the, uh, it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward, small little booklet here, no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, you do have 63 pages of building instructions. Again, quick, easy build. And then on the, these two pages, you have a cross cell for both the 2021 Max as well as the 2021 Spider Man sets, along with a little advert for the Spider Layer, which doesn't release till March here in the US. And then, as always, at the back, you have a product uh, part count inventory of all the pieces should you lose some. And then on the back, we have a, the typical win page with a pirate showing out. Okay, looking at the box for the Miles Morales mech armor, you can see that it is smaller than the um, previous year's box for these types of sets and I will bring the Iron Man one in here just for scale reference. You can see that it's, it's the same amount of thickness but it's just a little bit squatter. But going into details you got uh, the specs on the side there. You got a nice product shot of the set in action. You got the minifigure call out down there. Side of the set, you have a nice Spider Man promo promotional image. At top of the box, you have Miles supporting the actual size reference, and then 
back of the box, as always, has a different pose of the set, showing off different things you can do with it. And it is noted that this is a punch out type of ball. Uh, my final thoughts on the set, uh, the Mac build is pretty repetitive by nature and gets the job done. It's very playable, it's very poseable. I did, um, I do think they did a great job of fixing some of the flaws of the first wave of these sets and how unique it is to the character of Miles Morales. I do love the trans uh, blue uh, web pieces and like which are exclusive to the set in that color and I do like how they use pretty much all of them into the build and uh, minifigure wise I like th this nice new version of Spider-Man it's very unique it's I imagine going to stay exclusive to the set um, um, s small minor nitpick is uh, is uh, the logo on the back of that torso there. That's my only issue with it. Uh, quality wise, I have no issues. Um, and price, this is a good small $10 impulse buy for a kid who likes superheroes, particularly Spider-Man and particularly Miles Morales. I do feel like you get your money's worth for buying at a full price, but it, and it is a really good set, so all in all, I'd have to give this set a 9.5 out of 10, and um, that'll do it for this, um, this uh, review. I will see you guys in the next video, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, 